Good afternoon, third grade online learners. Welcome. I believe we're speaking to Lorenzo and anybody who might be absent today. You missed the fire drill. So later on, get your parents and practice a fire drill at home. What would you do if there was a fire at your house? Where would you go for safety in different parts of your house? If you were in your bedroom, your living room, or your basement, what is your plan of escape? The more you practice it, the better you'll be prepared, and hopefully that day never comes. Okay, but in third grade science, we are learning about classifying plants. And you can see my book is falling apart. <laughs> but we uh, learned yesterday about leaf margins. margins. They can be smooth on the outside or rough on the outside. Uh, the texture, the texture of the leaf can be waxy, it can be rough, or it could be smooth. The veins can be parallel, they run next to each other, or they can be netted and look like a net, like a fishing net. Today, we'll talk a little bit about classifying by stems and roots. Plants can also be classified by their stem structures and root systems. Stems are either woody or soft. A root system is all the roots in the, of a single plant. Root systems are made up of either a taproot or a fibrous root. A taproot is a thick single root, fibrous roots go over a wide area. I had a taproot plant in my yard and the root went very deep into the ground. And every year I tried to dig that root up because I didn't want that plant there anymore. And I could not dig it up. No matter how deep I dug it, that taproot just went down, down, down. I probably went down two feet and I still didn't get to the end of that taproot. A fibrous root will do the opposite. It'll spread out over a large area. So tap roots, fibr fibrous roots, soft stems. Sometimes you see the flowers are bent over because the stems are so soft. Woody stems, they will stand straight up and you might see that on a holly bush similar to one that's in the picture. And it says the woody stems are protected by bark. So they have to be in an area are they in an area where maybe deer or other animals might try to get to them and they have to be strong and sturdy. Where a soft stem, maybe a tulip, they're not going to be found in those areas so they don't have to be as strong. There's a review on page A19 with some questions you could practice. The quiz is based on the study guide and the quiz is Thursday, tomorrow. You might even see it online today. I didn't mean to post it today. But if you have you reviewed your study guide and you're ready to take it at home, go ahead and do that. We will be taking our quiz in school tomorrow, Thursday, during class. Do not, people come to school, do not take it before tomorrow. Um, that should be it, guys. Use the study guide, review things, and I'm very proud of Lorenzo who got outside and looked at some leaves looked at their leaf margins and uh, the vein patterns, and he even sent me some pictures. Maybe I can share them with you later. So good job at home, Lorenzo. And that's all for today. Uh, we have a shorter class because of the fire drill, so remember, practice safety at home also. And we will see our online learners and everybody tomorrow, which we will have students greet our online learners tomorrow. Everybody say goodbye. No saying yee yee.